Yeah, we do this every day. How are you guys? My name is Alphonse Foucault. Today we're going to be talking about the Jewel LMB. Jewel Universal LMB. Jewel Universal LMB is actually a LMB which is not single like this one. You see, this is the LMB single. You got only one pin. Okay. Today we'll be talking how to connect your uh, Jewel Universal LMB. Okay. Uh, look at this. This LMB is a Jewel. Why is Jewel? Because you got two outlets so we can connect two decoder or two uh, cable here from our LMB. What I want you to understand that is if you got any dish, any satellite dish, you install your LMB like this one, it's a Jewel LMB. How can you utilize this opportunity? The first one will be you can connect one cable. You can connect one cable after you get your signal. Let's say you are using the IS20 like we use in South Africa, which is gonna stay on the on the four o'clock. And then you actually you actually lock your signal here. You lock your signal. And when you lock your signal, you take your cable on one of the ports here. You can take your signal on one of the ports. And then you can actually uh, you take the cable. I'm just doing the demonstration to tell you uh, the way you can use your signal. So you can take the cable like this and you connect it to a single LM, a single decoder. You can have this decoder. This is a DSTV decoder or it can be another satellite decoder. You go into the port of LMB in. You're gonna put your signal there, LMB in, LMB in. And when you connect other, the power supply, the HDMI to your TV, Remember, you put it on LMB in. You use one cable, and then you're using this HD decoder. On this case, you can actually uh, make this decoder work only if you go and do the setting on the DSTV wizard, and then you go to LMB type. You're gonna change the LMB type to Universal LMB because why? Because you are using the Universal LMB, and your decoder will work. But if you set this decoder to uni cable, it's not going to work. So make sure that if you are using the universal LMB, you must set on this particular decoder on universal port LMB. If you are using this one as well, it's the same thing. You have to set it to universal LMB in order to, to watch your IS20. Why you have to set it? Because these two decoder, this decoder can work on universal and then it can work also on uni cable. That means if you are using the smart LMB like this one, the uni cable coming from the smart LMB can also make this decoder work. While if you are using the explorer like this one, if you are using the explorer like this one, this connection will not make this explorer work because the explorer needs a unique cable coming from smart LMB. Okay, so that is the first way how you can use in your you can use your jewels dual LMB dual universal LMB. Now this LMB is dual. That means we can connect two cable there. Just watch. We can connect another cable here, and. We can connect another cable here and then we got our signal on two cable okay so i just want you to see uh, the facility you can have on your signal you can connect two cable here you can connect two cable here one you can still use on your on your on your dstv decoder and then you work and another one you can take another one to go and connect your OVHD decoder. You can take another one here and put your OVHD decoder and you will have in the house your DSTV and your OVHD decoder. But this one could have a problem if you are using, if you, it can have a problem on frequencies because you can be on a horizontal, another one can be on a vertical sometime, you can have a missing, missing picture. So what I would advise you if you got an OVHD, I'll advise you to use what we call a multiple switch. If you need a multiple switch, contact me below and then I can provide you one. 
We'll need a multiple switch like this. Why? Because we are using this. Why multiple switch? Because we want to make sure that you have all your vertical and horizontal IS20 coming from the LMB. So what you do, you can use four-way multiple switch or you can use more than four-way multiple switch. Like this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six-way multiple switch. So what we do on the multiple switch, it allows us to get our vertical and horizontal IS20 in the output. Because like this, you can have a problem of the signal. So you have to use the multiple switch and then you connect your multiple switch. You have, you got in, LMB in, LMB in, and then you got the out. So we're going to use that multiple switch. So this one is a four-way multiple switch. So that is how it's gonna work before you connect it to your decoder, okay? You're gonna use it and then you're gonna put your, your signal here. You're gonna put your signal here. Meaning from outside, you got, you from outside on your dual universal LMB, you take the two port, you get inside your multiple switch, as you can see here, you come out now, you got one, two, three, four. The good way of this that now, we have horizontal and vertical. So in each output, you're gonna have your vertical and your horizontal. So in this case, what you happen to do, you can connect one, two, three, four decoder. That means if you are living in the house whereby people don't want to put many dish outside, you can put only one dish, do LMB, multiple switch, and then you share it to four people. Meaning what? I will go now and put my cable here, one cable here, and then when I put one cable here, and then I will be able to supply my decoder and then i can supply my decoder here in one room i can supply my decoder here in one room remember this one will not work with explorer because this is still a universal signal so as you can see from the dual universal lmb i take the two cable i put it inside the multiple switch i come out four part so i take this one I supply my decoder with and then I can take this one I supply my U, my OVHD decoder with I can take this one I supply my neighbor and then I can take this one I can even supply my tenant so in another way by using this system with RS20 signal you'll be able to connect four decoder one two three four and if you use six output you're gonna put your two cable here two cable here and then you'll be able to supply six decoder okay i think it's from now you can understand how you can use your dual lm this is another way just watching is also good that you can also use this you can also use it by connecting your explorer you may be asking me how are you going to do to connect your explorer but here you need to have what we call you need to have yourself a a uh, explorer multiple switch it can be this one or it can be this one it will allow you to actually connect your explorer watch so you still leave your two cable here you're gonna have this switch what are you gonna do you're gonna connect it you got here you got hl and vl if you reach here if you are using the is20 it show you that you must use these two if you are using the e 36B, it show you that you must use these two. And then if you are using the dual universal LMB in South Africa, we use S20. So I'm going to use this two ball. Watch, it's going to help you. This video costs a lot of money, but I'm giving you for free. So uh, this way, the way you're going to connect it. very simple and you just need to see how is you can still use your old uh, dual lmb on your dish without changing to smart lmb if you got a a switch like this so meaning that your signal is set very well and then from your dual lmb you're gonna get inside this two pin on your multiple switch for explorer look at here 
the signal you go inside is horizontal and vertical so you're gonna come out here universal 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 with this box you got four universal here that means we can easily connect our decoder to one of the part of universal we can connect one of our our decoder here and then we can still connect our ovhd here we can connect our neighbor we can connect our tenant so we can connect four decoder here and look what is also interesting with this box this box is that you can get a and b you can get your uni cable here one uni cable here you can now connect from this port you can now connect on the a in the less than 100 meter a explorer you can now connect your explorer decoder even though you still have four decoder here yeah? you can now connect your explorer from this port so explorer like this one will be actually connected in this port you can connect two explorer on this port while you are still connecting other people on this box so you can see how it's very important to use this box with your jewel lmb okay we have also a different type of uh, different type of box you can use this one and if you use this one of course you're going to use vl and hr vl which is this one and then and the uh, hr which is this one hr and the vl now you're going to use these two so the two cable will go inside this one here and on this one we got our universal you can supply four four decoder and now we got four uni cables so the particular of this one is that you got four uni cables so we can connect four explorer here and we can connect four ordinary decoder here so you can see how those devices very important those switch is very important that's why i'm saying if you need this guy please contact me below and then i'll supply you and for now you will know how to connect your uh, Joule Universal LMB. Guys, if this video was useful for you, guys, you know what to do. Do subscribe. Subscribe to this channel for a better content like this one so that in the future we can build this community as a great people. Guys, you always learn something. That little you learn every day going to totalize in 365 days something great so the 2021 should be a great year for you learn every day little thing on this channel i teach you a little thing every day keep watching subscribe share the video my name is alphonse foco i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching good day